Hello everyone, my name is Veritas and welcome back to another episode of Battlefield. Now this is a little bit different than the beta because we're going to go back to the good old days of Battlefield 3 from 2011. Now, it interests me that Gears of War 3 and Battlefield 3 came out in the same year, not because they're, you know, completely different games, but because they're completely different games. I don't know, I don't remember this game coming out the same year, but I guess it did. Oh well, doesn't matter. Anywho, I think we're being spawn camped, so that's not going to be very good for our uh, morale here. But, this is, I know how to play this game, which is better than, which is, oh, good god, no, don't hit me. Which is more than I can say for the beta, because the Battlefield 4 beta, as um, interesting as it is, I really have trouble playing it, because besides the fact that they revamped the control scheme, and the game is, you know, it's not really a beta, it's more of an alpha build, um, you know, you can get over the visual effects, you know, the, the lacking graphics and all that kind of stuff, but you really can't get over the fact that the game looks atrocious. Well, that the game feels atrocious, I should say. Now, the only problem I have with Battlefield in general, the only issue I have with Battlefield as a franchise, is, um, is the atrociously steep learning curve. Now, there's a difference between the learning curve and what the fuck. Um, I would compare Battlefield learning curve to League of Legends, I tried to play that a long time ago, and I got into it for a fairly long time, and then I just kind of, I was just like, no, I'm not doing this anymore, because it's just not fun. There's a limit to how much you can stand when everyone basically is hating you because you're new to the game. That's not really saying, you know, if, if someone's new to the game, teach them. Don't treat them like absolute shit, because one day they could be better than you, or... They could, you know, be a good teammate if you, you know, if you're so amazing yourself, maybe you should teach some new people, but don't be a dickhole about it. So, I played that game for a while, um, I tended to like, I didn't like the, um, I don't remember the name of the, the two game types, I'm just gonna say Domination is the other one, I don't remember what the fuck it was. The one where you have to go around the big circle and, uh, capture, like, flags or rings of magical aura bullshit. Um, whatever hoopla they're telling you is in those big fountains, so, that stuff. I don't know. I tended to like that one more because it was more objective-based than it was like, hey, let's be an asshole and just, you know, all pile on this guy. I don't know. Fuck the terms. I don't care. I stopped playing it, I uninstalled it, and that's that. But Battlefield has an incredibly steep learning curve, and I understand that it's like, you know, this is, there's a lot more going on in this game than there is, like, Call of Duty or something. You know, if you go back and play, like, Modern Warfare 2... You're not going to get this level of, like, what the fuck is going on than you would in this game. And that, that's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. I mean, there's a, different, there's a difference between just, like, hey, it's a new game. I've never played this before. I've played a first-person shooter, but not, you know, this one. I mean, it might be a little bit different. There's a difference between that and what the hell does this do? You know, when you have 16 different buttons that all do 35 different things, it's, like, it's a little bit off the charts of, like, what the fuck's going on. Now, if I wasn't, if we weren't being spawn camped by all these fucking level hundreds, maybe we could actually do something. But that's how Metro plays out, and I like Metro because it's more fast paced. I, I'm not a COD fanboy in the in the least sense, but I'm very impatient. And with Battlefield, there there tends to be an issue that it that it it always loves to bring up, which is like, you know, run for 30 minutes, get killed, respawn for a minute run for 30 minutes, get killed, respawn for a minute. It's like, it doesn't play to people that are impatient. And I am incredibly impatient. So, as I do whatever the hell that was, quad or something, but, you know, you go and you're on YouTube and you see all these amazing plays that the Battlefield pros do. It's like, you know, killing entire teams by just walking up to them. It's kind of ridiculous, but, I mean, you know, it's nothing you can really do about it. Ooh, the AEK. I like the AEK. Um... So yeah, I mean, Battlefield's a fun game if you want to just, you want something different, it's fun. But, I mean, if you want a stupid, mindless, fast-paced game, it's not Battlefield. And that's not what I'm saying that I necessarily want. I just like games that are easy to pick up and play and you can, you know, master in a day. As opposed to games that, you know, you can play for three years and still be like, what the fuck is going on? But... They're different games, so the other thing I can say about them being, you know, if you want a fast-paced game that's easy to play, go play Kai. If you want a more challenging, more team-based game, play Battlefield. And that's not to say that Battlefield doesn't have its share of assholes like League of Legends does or COD does. I mean, COD is infamous for its, you know, Fuck you, faggot, go shuck your mom's tit. 
360 no scope, that kind of shit. I mean, it's basically built on the idea that it's being played by three year olds or 16 year old black guys that don't have any care in the world other than smoking pot and calling you stupid names. So, I mean, nothing you can really do about it, but in the end, it is just a game. And I hate people say that. I hate that so much people say, oh, it's just a game. It's like, fuck you. It's not just a game. This is my world. And there's a difference between it just being a game and it being my world. Now, you can go fuck yourself. Speaking of that, I need to change my outro for these videos. It's, it tends to be a little bit, uh, jaded. Um, a little bit, uh, what would that word be? Um, PGR? <laughs> I mean, literally, it's a little bit off the charts with its cursey curse curse. Now, one of these weapons I have pretty high up, and I can't remember, I'm just going to use the AK-74 because it's... Is this the gun I like? This is the gun I like. Why are we using shotguns? This has the AN undermount, doesn't it? The, uh, AN... Or, no, the, the fucking... Uh, the G something. The G70 something? The something? I don't remember what it is. It's, um... It's the undermounted grenade on this thing. It's so uh, balls. I'm not going to be able to find that. Uh, it's it's this, but on the other... on Uh, crap. Because I'm like American guns and it's underslung, it's, you know, it's an M320 or an M203 or whatever, but on the uh, Russian guns, it's like a G25 or something stupid like that, but that's, you know, COD knowledge, how much of that is true. So, anyway, um, yeah, so... Battlefield, it's more, I think it's more fun to play than COD, but then again, it's also a lot more frustrating. But, nothing you can really do about that. I picked the wrong class. Any who's it? Um, oh, crap, I forgot the tickets. If you look at the uh, tickets or the lives or the health of the team over there, for those of you that don't play Battlefield all the time, um, the tickets are at 500%, I think. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit loopy about how, um, about how high this is. I don't like... I also don't like the fact that there's, like, there's, like, zero blast radius. Because, unless you direct impact someone with, like, a rocket, they're, it's not going to kill them if you shoot them at their feet. And I said that in the beta video, but, uh, it's just irritating. I don't know. But there's not really a COD game right now that I want to play, so I'm playing this. Because it's, it's better than not playing anything. And besides the fact that I'm basically not on my Xbox anymore... Until next gen hits, I don't really know what I'm doing. Speaking of which, I don't know if I pre-ordered the Xbox One or the Xbox 360 version of Battlefield. I think I was like, I don't play Battlefield that much. I'll just wait on it. So I got the Xbox One version. But, I mean, it, it doesn't really change anything. It's like a week. So it doesn't really matter. Um, since Battlefield 4 comes out the day before, or two days before Halloween. If it's Halloween on the 30th or the 31st of October. I don't ever remember. Um, I know back when I used to be in school... With a cat attack, we always had uh, had issues with you know wanting to be out on Halloween partying or whatever, and how we'd always have to be up early for school the next day. And if it, and it, it holidays never seem to fall on like a Friday or a you know a day you can skip. It's always like oh we're gonna have the chapter test tomorrow. It's like but it's Halloween tonight. I know. It's like fuck you, teacher. So I don't know. Speaking of bullshit. That was bullshit. Um, there's something I noticed in the beta, actually, and I know the beta's broken. There's like, you basically, you, besides it being called Battlefield 4, there's really nothing between the beta and the actual uh, release version of the game that's going to be any kind of the same. And I have to remember that. I have to take it with a grain of salt because, oh, it's, oh yeah, there's four player squads in this one. Forgot about that. Um, our squad's kind of retarded. You can't say retarded, it's mentally impaired. No, it's fucking retarded. There's a difference between retarded and mentally impaired, too. Retarded is when you're just stupid shallowly. Mentally impaired is when you're stupid medically. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, let me say, oh yeah, in the beta, it doesn't really matter if you shoot first or they shoot first or you know they're coming or you see them on the mini map and you're already prepared and you're, you know, you're camped in or you're, you know, you're running at them and you're going to kill them. No matter what you do, the game will play fav favesies with people that are, have played the game longer. Like if you're like a level one and you're going to play the multiplayer, the game's going to say, hey, no matter what you do, we're going to favor the enemy because, you know, he's a level 7. He's been playing for 30 hours straight and 
you know, is having his girlfriend jack him off and feed him at the same time so he doesn't have to do anything other than play this game, it's going to favor the veterans than it's going to favor new players, which brings in the steep learning curve again and now the game is bullshit when it comes to that. I just tried to spot like I did, I, like I would in, like, Gears of War. I'm being stupid. I don't remember how to spot. Thanks, guy. Thanks, you know, for being a fucking asshole. <sighs> oh, I don't know if it's in this game. I need to check on my next spawn, but in Battlefield 4, your ammo doesn't carry over, so it's not like a pool you just draw from. If you reload with half a clip left, you lose that half a clip. And Cat Attack has always been an advocate on making a game realistic to where, like, if you went like this and reloaded, you would lose 30 shots. See, in this one, I have 31 and I have 91. If I shoot one bullet and reload, I go back. I go down to 90 because I've only used one bullet. In Battlefield 4, if you shoot one bullet, you're going to go down to 60. It's going it, to... You basically forfeit that entire clip because you reloaded too early. And I have to tell Cat Attack about that because he doesn't play Battlefield. He plays it a little bit, but he's astounded at how... Well, I can play it when I'm doing good, I should say. I'm not doing good in this, by the way, because I'm... It's... Anyone that plays this game knows what I'm going through right now. We're pinned in the back. I'm trying to talk over it. It's a very focusy game. It's also very team-based. I don't have a team because none of my friends play this, but he, he'll he be he'll be happy that the game is finally doing what he wanted, that stupid thing where, you know, he raises... I'm fucked this stupid grenade. Ah, damn it, I couldn't shoot my grenade off. <laughs> um... So I found a way, never mind, I'm not going to bring it up, never going to, I ain't going to bring it up, ignore it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be playing this a lot, probably, because this is the only game on my Xbox that even sounds at all fun, and I use the word fun lightly because this game is kind of annoying and not really, I don't know. I'm going to put something that's not a rifle scope on here, like a red dot, maybe? How about a red dot, maybe? Okay, there we go. I don't want... Yeah, let's do... I don't need slugs. I want flechette. Fleche. Flechou. Reduced effectiveness. I like the flechette. I'm going to call it flechette. I don't really care if it's called flechette or not. You can go fuck yourself if you call it something different. Um, I'm going to use my flechette rounds. Oh, my circle. It grows. It grows larger. What am I stuck on? Look how enormous my circle is, ladies. Stay away from my penis. No, just kidding. Um... So yeah, I have effective distant... Oh my lord! Okay. So I just lost my penis. That's always effective. C4 explosives. Huh. For someone that was dead. That's nice. Um, I need to... Oh, thank you for the revision. Can I get out of here now before someone murders my face? I got you, home slice. I'm trying to play with Battlefield 4 controls, and it's not being very effective, because in Battlefield 4, to crouch, it's B, like every other fucking game in the world that's a first-person shooter. It's like, hey, you hit B to go prone and crouch and things, and they finally switched it from the trigger being go prone to that, and I'm like, I had to like relearn how to play the beta with its new control scheme, like it is in COD, because Battlefield 4 is basically more of a COD-controlled game, like where the thumbstick is the, um, where the thumbstick controls the knife, Hang on, I'm, I'm going on a little bit of a tear. Never mind, I'm dead and dying slowly, sadly. Someone revive me. Don't be a douche and revive. Is he using... No, I, he has a holographic on his. I need, like, an automatic shotgun that's not gonna... Ooh, this thing. I don't think I have anything for this thing. I don't use it ever. Yeah, I don't have anything for... Ooh, buckshot. Mmm, buckshot. Mmm, buckshot. Uh, compact load. Eh, eh, eh. Combat load. Eh, ah, ah. Uh, someone has a thing for men in boots. Anyway... Of oh, oh, Buckshot. Really? Oh, oh, Buckshot? What's double O oh, Buckshot? Is that uh, James Bond's uh, shotgun preference? Provides an excellent close quarters lethality, but lacks penetration or range. That's what she said. Okay, so this is basically like incredibly close quarters. Let's do it. Um, hopefully we haven't like pushed them forward yet. And we're slowly, I mean, we're going to lose tickets. We've put a dent in them by like five kills since I've been talking about this stuff. And it's just, oh, oh. um... Alright, so since we're basically going to lose this, uh, might as well just put our tail between our legs and crawl our way home. Okay, that was completely effective whatsoever. Um, MTAR-21, what's that? Is that that stupid... Oh, it's that gun. I don't know what that means, but it's, you know, one fucking bullet and immediately dead! Uh, gotta love Battlefield. Alright. 
I'm gonna change this from buckshot to fliché, and then let's see how that works. I don't know. I don't use this thing all that much, so I wouldn't really know how good or bad it is. Let's see. Let's 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 look at the fire right here. Not very high, but it's got. I forgot the reload for this gun. It looks retarded. It's like, watch this. It's like. That's kind of stupid. Oh, I'm gonna revive you, and so you can die again. Die again. Yep, die again. All right, can we get a constant stream of these? Oh. Hang on, I gotta do my retarded animation. Get in here. There we go. Oh, I couldn't do anything. I got kill assist. What bullshit's that? Buckshot. No penetration or range, but it's excellent for close quarters lethality. Really? Because there's nothing more close quarters than that unless I was crawling through a drainage pipe, you douchebag. So if you want to figure out what you mean by close quarters lethality. Or did I change to flashe? I changed to flashette, didn't I? Never mind, my fault. Need to aim. Okay, never mind. Don't need to aim. Just need to run into fire and die. Oh, boy. I had like, ha oh, yeah, a fucking 2001 a Space Odyssey down that hallway. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Or it's, I'm afraid, wait, what is it? I can't let you do that? It's, I always gussy it up by saying I'm afraid I can't let you do that, but it's just, I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. Whatever. I've never even seen that movie, but I know the references. Oh, no, he quit out. So sad. Hey, 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 douchebag in the corner. There's something interesting. I wonder if they did this on purpose, but if you stand in that corner, the enemy's little name bullshit over their head, it lines up perfectly with C being captured. So if they have all the points and there's someone standing there, you can't tell if there's an enemy there or not because they blend into the background. I don't know if that was deliberate or not, but it's douchey and I don't like it. So, I can't wait for next gen. Not because it's next generation, but because I'm so fucking... I need a new game. I'm so fucking tired of the games we have. I'm just bored of them now. Can you guys die, mate? Okay, you know what? And you put... Insert amount of ammo per reload here. Bullets, shots into somebody. They need to fucking die, man. They just, just die. Just curl up and die. So, stuff. What's new? Slug rounds. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I want a... Oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's do this. Um, extended mag, tactical light, ooh, tactical light, that will blind the enemies. I need the extended mag, though, so that's why I don't do that. How do you get camo on your weapons? Is that stupid? I'm premium, and I'm better than you, bullshit, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, balls! Oh, that's a great spawn. Thanks, teammate, uh, squad mate, whatever the hell that is. Oh, you... Battlefield 3 videos are going to be a little bit longer because the games are atrociously longer. You know, if I was going to play a COD game, I could probably do two or three games in the course of the time I've already done this, so it's like... It's a little bit different because this game takes forever. Alright, so everyone on that team is a medic? No, that's just... What's the plus me? Oh, yeah, everyone on that team is an assault. No, thank you. I like variety. Thank you. Oh, my God. He's 32 and oh How? Oh, he's probably just camping, isn't he? That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Let's see where Campy Camp Camp is. Ah, yes. In a camping spot. I really wish he would die. Not because I want my team to lose or lose any faster than we already are, but this thing looks kind of like a sniper rifle from uh, Russia. It kind of looks like a Russian sniper, doesn't it? A little bit. It's got that like weird curve in the back that looks automatic. Kalashnikov, or sorry, A K E, A K E. Sounds like a clothing brand. A E and Abercrombie. A C E. I don't fucking know. Enough of the blah 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 blah. Um. Okay, not going that direction. What does this scope look like if I zoom? Oh, it's the it is a Russian scope, which means this is a Russian gun. I bet this is a Russian gun. It has the it has the bullshit look of a Russian weapon. Can you die? Thank you. Oh, that was a bullshit headshot. That was such a headshot. The 44 Magnum is actually a really nice pistol, or a revolver, whatever. Is it a pistol if it's a revolver? What's the non-revolver pistol? Repeater? Is that a, is that a thing? What is, what is like a, what is like an M9? What's an M9? Is it an M9 repeater? I think it's an, I don't know. I'm not a gun person. I know explosives, that's about it. 
Can you not do that again? Thank you. How much health do you have? O or D forbidden one? Oh, the forbidden one. <laughs> so creative, you fucking level 100 bastard. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, he killed himself with the C4. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. Stupid asshole. Alright, anyway, moving on. My voice is going out for some reason. I haven't been recording a lot of videos lately. Kind of makes me sad, because I love doing this for you guys, and it makes me upset that I don't do it more often. Mainly because I don't have any games to play on my 360, so it's like, I don't know what to do. Okay, great. I lost half my fucking health already. Where? Okay, this is where I have to go. Yeah, I'll play more Battlefield 3, because this is something I can actually do. Nope, you're not going to pick me off like the little douche you are. Can you just die? Thanks. Oh? I'm going to reload this while that guy's being a douchebag. You got it, buddy. You got it, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thanks, teammate, for killing Mr. Panda 500. Apparently, someone plays too much WoW to even want to live. Can I revive my thank you for... Um, one more thing that's convenient about Battlefield 4 is that the accept health bullshit is... Um, what is it? It's right trigger, so it's the same button you usually press to when you're getting up. It's like, I'm being revived! As opposed to, I'm being revived! Let me hit A, which is the jump button, which makes every other option slow! Hi, Mr. Douchebag. What is that bar under his name? That's not his health, because it's bullshit if it is. It's not. What is that bar? Is that his progress in that in that class? What is that? I don't know what that is. That'd be helpful. Any of you out there that play Battlefield that are watching this at 22 minutes in, let me know. Okay, I need to stop spawning on Mr. Campy Camp Camp Pants, who hasn't even fucking moved this entire goddamn time. I need to go crouch. Reload this thing, and go crouch, and sneak attack. Can you not? Thank you. Just gonna crawl my way through here. Squad spawn, go! Grenades, go! Just gonna aim this at the bar, at, at, oh my god, I just had a stroke. No, crawl away from the grenade, thank you. Had a little bit of a stroke there. Alright, as long as they don't run around the back from behind us, we should... Yep, that's what they're doing. Uh, of course I stand up when they decide to get in the doorway. They won't come through until they know I'm standing up and can't apparently shoot while standing. Another thing Battlefield Thor does correctly is that you can shoot while doing actions like that. Especially if, like, you can actually, like, raise a, um, a dual scope up and it, like, doesn't... Fuck! Campers! It doesn't penalize you. Penalize. Um, penisalize. Penisalize? Is that a word? can't be a word. It can't be a word. There's no way that's a word. That'd be too perfect. I'm gonna penisalize you. That sounds... That sounds rapey. Is that a Michael Jackson song? <laughs> don't. Just don't. I got you, buddy. No, I don't got you, buddy. Never mind. I'm just gonna give you a free kill. Okay, so moving on. Oh, it's almost... Well, 24 minutes in, so... <sighs> well, kind of. Not really. I gotta cut this a little bit. Um... So, uh, stuff's going on. Good lord. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're trying to win this, which we're not going to. Since they've only gone down, like, 100 tickets since I've been here, and we've gone down, like, 400. So, I mean, there's really no... Really no coming back from this. At least we put... F never fucking mind. Apparently we have pushed for it. Apparently there are people on my team don't know that there's a fucking enemy right there. So that's good to know. Oh, he's dead now. That's nice. Convenient. Thanks, guys, for keeping me in the loop. Alright, I need an automatic... Ooh. Uh, automatic weapon. That's what I can really do. I'm gonna kill this camper if I have to switch teams to do it, and I won't be able to because the teams are probably stacked in their favor anyway because everyone's an asshole. Oh, these guys need ammo. Have, oh, that's a mortar. Have some ammo, guys. I've got the ammo for you. I got this. Oh my god. Can someone have given me a health pack? Good lord. Come on, guys. Don't do that. Never mind. Wait. That's sexual. Come on, guys. Kind of. Sounds, um... What would a sausage 
Well, not a sausage. What would sausage links taste like if you covered them in cinnamon? Cinnamon and, like, vanilla syrup. What would that taste like? Like, the weird vanilla sauce that they have in... What is that? Denny's? I don't know. I've never been there. I'm not fat like that. Anyway, um, I wonder what meat would taste like with, like, a cinnamon vanilla syrup on it. This conversation is going in a very dark, dark place. It's been going in a dark, dark place. Hmm. That's how we procreate, gentlemen. Going in... Oh my god, that's enemies. Okay, so now that they're camping this out again, there's no possible chance we're going to win, and we might as well just keep running in that hallway and breaking down our tickets even. Oh, we only had eight health. That's adorable. That's adorable. Also, you don't have percentage health anymore in Battlefield 4. You just have 100 health, and it's not 100% health. It's just 100 health. Apparently, I guess they got rid of the robot, like, boop, boop, like the automatic fucking breathalyzer bullshit that they got going on in this game. This little heartbeat crap. Does that thing actually change when you're being shot, or is it just stagnant? Because it doesn't seem to ever... Oh, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Okay, I'm going to put the mortar down. Oh, hi, enemy. Can you not be an asshole? Thanks. All right, moving on. That's effective. Thanks, Debris, for being a douchebag. All right, cover my rear. Let me throw a grenade. I got this, guys. I got this on lockdown. Let's just... Wait for the enemy to make themselves visible, and then we will cut them at the knees. Unless they sneak up behind me, in which case I'm not going to be able to cut them at the knees, and I'm going to end up getting killed. Oh, there's explosions. That's nice. I'm just going to camp here because I have almost infinite ammo. That's adorable. That's going to kill me, though. Ooh. Ow. Can I not be having that out? Oh, thanks. You know, I just fucking... There's gotta be someone with assault. There's no one with assault on our team. Ugh. We have no medics. We have no medics at all. We've got one guy that has a light machine gun that's doing absolutely nothing. The rest of my team is just standing behind me, masturbating slowly in the corner, hoping they don't get shot off or their dick shoots off. And just, there's no help. There's no assistance. There's no anything. There's no teamwork cohesiveness. It's just bullshit. Oh, that's fucking light in my eye. All right. So that's a thing. Um, hopefully I get premium for Battlefield 4. I don't really know why, but if I ever want to play Battlefield 4, I'd like to... Maybe it's just the map. Half the time when I'm playing these first-person shooters, it usually ends up just being the fact that I hate the map more than I hate the game or the players. Just, like, the maps don't work with me. Kind of like when you eat Chinese food. It's like, I'm really hungry, but this isn't really settling with me. Like, you need to eat, and you enjoy eating, and you enjoy having what you had. It tastes good. But for some reason, it's just... It's not sitting well with you, and I think that's what happens. When you play, like, a map in a first-person shooter game, it's just like, you know, I kind of wish I had had, you know, like, uh, seafood instead of Mexican. You know, stuff like that. I think that's how maps are. <sighs> ugh, ugh, bullshit. All right, so the light machine gun's a good idea. Is there anything? Oh, oh, look what I'm not using that I should be. I should use claymores. I don't think I've ever consist actually gotten a successful kill. Successful kill with claymores in this game. Probably a reason for that. Alright, so now while Mr. Campy Camp Pants decides to be a little campy camp hole, uh, I'm just gonna do this. You don't need a med kit. Okay, bounce that. Didn't mean to do that. Take this time to reload for 30 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I was trying to figure out why I ran out of ammo so fast in Battlefield 4, and it's like, mm, maybe it's because your ammo goes away when you reload. So, that would have been nice to know. The Type 88 LMG, I think, is the best light machine gun. It's like it's like the noob light machine gun, I think it is. There's one more. It's like the M249B. Um, that one's also considered very noobish. Can I change squads to one that, you know, has medics? Maybe? Maybe? Medics? Nope, we're done. Alright, that's the end of the game. Nice 30-minute wrap-up. So our team lost. That's surprising. Not at all. Not whatsoever. All right, so there's the score. 33 and 40. You can suck on that, COD players. Ooh, my next rank is actually metallic. Oh, let's see how far I'm not going to get. I mean, nah. The interesting thing is... The interesting thing is... That, like, level 5 in Battlefield 4 is level 40 in this game. Well, no, sorry. It's not progressive experience. It's continuous experience. So, um, 
Anyway, like, every level is, like, 30,000 as opposed to it being, like, 10, 15, 20, 100, 3, 5, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stay in here because I have, well, no, I'm leaving. All right, so that's that. Uh, thanks for sticking around for 30 minutes if you did. I mean, it was madly entertaining, and I had some fun here and there. Had brought out some points. <sighs> some points. Interestingly enough, my capture device, and I'm going to convert this into a much smaller file, but the raw file right now is 30 minutes and 45 seconds long. It's 1.8 gigs. That's raw, unconverted, any kind of editing stuff, and I'm going to cut off like five minutes from the beginning and, you know, convert it down. In the end, this video will probably be like 200 megabytes, which is awesome. So, yay for high-end software. Um, <laughs> high-end software. Anyway, um, so thank you all so much for watching. This has been Very Toss and Filler Killers, everyone. That's, I'm the only one here anymore, so I doesn't really need to say that. But, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do enjoy your viewership. And um, stay tuned for more stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing ever. Um, but, yeah, uh, so if you enjoyed the video, a rating would be much appreciated. Comment, like, subscribe, maybe? And then um, if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. Uh, See, that's better than saying go fuck yourself, but go fuck yourself. Anyway, um, so until the next video, guys, I want to, well, that's about it. So until the next video, have a great day, everyone.